Welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day. It's Friday the 20th of October at the end of what's been a tumultuous week again in markets. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, we saw a weak session again in the US overnight, growing concerns over the escalation of the Middle Eastern conflict and the impact that may have not only on the region but globally. Bond yields also touched 16-year highs earlier in the session before retracing. And we saw a fairly hawkish Fed chairman speech as well, which didn't help market sentiment at all. US futures are just below neutral in early Asian trading and Asian markets are continuing to sell off following that weak lead from Wall Street. ASX down another 1% after a fairly significant drop yesterday as well. The VIX is showing that uncertainty in markets, moving higher again to close at its highest level since May. And European futures look as though they are pointing to a weak open this afternoon. US dollar index is trading in the short term range, but gold looks like a flight to safety at the moment, continues to push higher, is now challenging the next resistance at 1980. That's quite a significant move up during the course of this week. Interestingly, other commodities did okay. Also, copper paused above support and all on that Middle Eastern concerns breached short term resistance. Bitcoin is pausing around that 28,600 after that move higher early in the week. It really hasn't moved at all since then. And earnings will still be in focus as things will ramp up next week. Generally speaking, the numbers have come across OK, but of course, other things have taken over market sentiment. Chinese interest rate decision is out. We've got UK retail sales later. And of course, the Middle Eastern conflict developments will be eyed with concern. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. It is worthwhile looking at gold just to see that move up that we've had really since the conflict began in the Middle East. We've breached the 200 EMA at the end of last week and really continued up throughout the course of the week. You can see on this futures contract the importance of this 1980 level. You can see it was last here in mid-July uh, and it was support during April as well at this level. So one to watch without a doubt, which is oh, 2000 could be back on the cards and who would have thought that when we're tackling 1800, not two weeks ago. Uh, we're seeing coal stocks looking strong again. Here's Whitehaven Coal on the ASX, one of the few stocks in positive territory. You can see how this 750 looks like an important level of resistance back in August and July and april earlier this year we did have a foray above it yesterday before pulling back below 754 by the close you can see again we're looking to breach that level Be interesting to see where this ends up at the, at the end of the session worthwhile checking in the last hour trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now